feels so nice to be home again. After a couple of months being away on the boat, it's, it's really, really nice to be settled back at home here in the forest. So much has changed. The leaves were up in the trees and now they're on the ground. It's gotten a lot colder and we got a big mess to clean up outside. Things are definitely looking a little neglected around here. We have lots to do and we have lots to share with you. So we thought we'd get you caught up to speed while we get caught up here at home. It's hard to believe that it's our second winter here living in the forest. We really enjoy living here in the woods. It's just so peaceful and beautiful. We burned about half a quart of wood last winter and We've got about half a cord left here and it's really well seasoned now that it's been sitting for a second summer while we're away sailing. It's so hard to believe that we're so far ahead on producing the videos. Man, time just really has flown this year. We had such an amazing summer on the boat, but this time of year in the fall and winter, it's really nice to be on land for a little bit, to rest and reset, ground in, and I find it's a really good balance to split some time between living on the boat and being here in the woods. I planted this garden months ago, like at the start of the spring. And then we left and we were on the boat all summer and filming our second sailing season. I wasn't quite sure what to expect coming back. I just assumed everything would be dead, but it's pretty awesome that I have a full bed of beets. And I think it's definitely time to haul these up though, because they're gonna rot. I'm actually really excited about these. I dug compost all through this bed in the spring and I actually grew some pretty nice sized beets. So stoked about that. I love beets, just like grating them fresh and putting them into a salad or canning them, roasting them. I'm just, uh, yeah, super stoked to have so many beets. Yeah. Definitely not gonna have time to eat all these before we leave. So I'm gonna clean them up here in the compost and then bring them inside and pickle them so that we can have delicious garden beets all year. It's hard to believe that this time last year we were just starting our channel. We had already filmed the entire Airstream build, our first sailing series but we had never edited videos. And so we hunkered down in the fall and winter, just got to work learning how to edit and putting all the videos together. We didn't think it would take a year to release them all. So we only started releasing last year's footage in January when we started this channel. So while we've been releasing that, we've also simultaneously been filming our second season of sailing. So this year, we left our home port of French Creek for good and have been sailing north ever since, which is why we've been away from the Airstream for so long. That should hopefully warm up the space in a little bit. Love this thing. 
Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> it's like the wood stove. Yeah, no worries. Stoked about all these beets we got. Should we can them now or? Uh, I think we should probably go skirt the trailer before it gets dark. True. Short days. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. We're just cleaning up the leaves around the trailer so that we can skirt it. Putting a skirt around the trailer just stops the air from exchanging underneath the trailer and it stops the heat from getting blown out from underneath the floor, keeping the floor a lot warmer during the winter. So we're gonna be skirting the trailer with our half inch skirting board that we made last year. And we're just gonna use this uh, aluminum tape to stick it onto the base of the Airstream. It's supposed to snow the next few days, so we are getting prepared. We had an amazing second summer sailing and exploring the epic coastline of the Pacific Northwest and living aboard our tiny floating home. We sailed at the east coast of Vancouver Island and ventured deep into the fjords of the coastal mountain range here in BC. We spent the past few weeks scrubbing through heaps of incredible footage and we're so excited to share that entire adventure with you next week, starting with some really exciting boat upgrades. We're pretty stoked to have our boat further north and are keen to chase endless winter up the Canadian coastline. I'm told that there's a glacier really far up north that you can go park your boat in front of and I think that'd be really cool to go check out, maybe ski some summer lions. Well, the day got away from us yesterday. By the time the sun went down, we just finished getting the leaves cleaned up and we had just finished skirting this trailer. It was just in time because overnight, the snow has been falling and we've woken up to a layer of white powder around the trailer. Yeah, it's really beautiful out there, actually. I'm loving this first snowfall. If you haven't guessed it after Jane's little hint yesterday, we are planning to sail north all the way to Alaska. And we're gonna do it really, really slowly so that we can bring you guys with us all along the way. There's so many amazing places to explore along the way and we're keen to see it all and share the journey with you. I'm really excited about this adventure. I'm really excited about the future of the channel. We've already started the first leg of that adventure and we're gonna be sharing that with you over the next couple of weeks. And while you guys are getting caught up on that, we are gonna be jet setting down under to spend a few weeks on an incredible sailing experience that we just couldn't pass up. A really exciting opportunity to head down to the Southern Hemisphere and go get some sailing experience down there and maybe do our first ocean crossing. Don't worry, we're still going to be back in the spring for sailing season three of cruising to Alaska. Keeping the sailing in the PNW dream alive. Just a little hot weather intermission in between all of that good stuff. So lots of things to look forward to in the coming months on our channel and we're so so excited to share it all with you. If you'd like to follow our adventure down under in real time you can follow us on social media for some snippets or you can join our pals on Patreon for more exclusive real-time updates. Thank you for being here for supporting us every week. If you like this one give it a thumbs up and chat with us in the comments we'd love to hear your thoughts. We really appreciate all the support all the nice comments we love chatting with you guys down there. If you haven't subscribed already now is a really good time to do so because the next season is absolutely amazing all right signing off on this one all right see you all next week